See, the briefcase was 30 kilos. Like you need to remember your briefcase. And then I used to be the first person kwa ofisi. Na nilikuwa the last person kutoka kwa ofisi. Even though I was just an intern. So ni amana, kazi yoyote ukipewa, you must put your entire effort on it. Na kumbuka wakati mungine, he said to me, aliandika kwa document. He cancelled it, alafu akasema, use your head. Akandika hapo. So nikarudi, nikaungea na wakili wengine senior, nikuwa ulizi, nifanya hii kazi na mnagani, wakanifudisha and I learned. By the time the Litoka from American Company, I was one of the best lawyers when I got out of there. Lakini nilifundishwa pia na court clerks. Noja wa my court clerks. Watu watakini kusikiza court clerks. But me I used to sit with the court clerk, tunayenda na ye lands, alafa na nionyesha vile kazi tunayenda. So it's very important that you use your opportunity as an intern to put in effort. Many years later, I met Mr. Mereka. And he was the chief registrar of judiciary. So I told him, do you remember, sir, you used to cancel my documents and write, use your head. Then I can say, if I did not tell you to use your head, you'd think you'd be the chief registrar of the judiciary. <laughs> so I can say, don't worry if your bosses are hard on you. Because they make you better, isn't it? The hotter the fire, the purer the gold. And that I mean, I need to train other interns. Pia, my second internship was at the United Nations Environment Program. And by that time, I was married. And I had a baby while I was working there. And I kafanya kazi. Do you know, I went back to work three months after delivering my first child. Three, no, three weeks. Kwa sababu, I knew I needed to prove myself. And by the time I finished that internship, I was hired at an international level staff at P2 level. I was the youngest person to be taken at that position. Why? I put in more hours than everybody. So after I come an intern, please, I always know the clever, the hardworking interns in my office. Be the first person to get to work and be the last person. If there is a job you're supposed to do tomorrow, prepare in advance. Usingoje, waka upatiwe your assignment. You can do it and be proactive. And uh, many years later, I've also had the opportunity to villain Lifanya Kazi. At Kenya Law Reports, I had several interns who had been my students at the University of Nairobi. And they came and worked as my students. And do you know who replaced me as CEO at Kenya Law Reports? My intern was appointed as the CEO. And his assistant was also somebody who was my intern. When I was at the Electoral Commission, Wale watu nilitafuta kuandika kazi, ni wale watu walikuwa interns wangu, enye nilikuwa najua, they are brilliant. Na nilikuwa uwa, mutu wa kiniambia, we are looking for some people, I tell them, I know two clever people. And I know many of them that I, try, I got to be hired by Anwai Guru at Devolution, I got others to be hired by uh, Davis Churchill. So, let me tell you, if you are an intern and you make your mark, that person who's supervising you will not forget you. Even if they don't hire you at that place, they will always remember. Employers remember. And badai utasikia akikutafuta. Because me, I always write down the, the clever people. Because if you are not hardworking, I have no time for you. And everybody will tell you, you cannot last one day with Gladys Bosch Cholet if you're lazy. Isn't it? Yeah, because hard work is everything. So go make your mark. Distinguish yourself at the place where you're working. Make sure that you stand out. Make sure you're the person who works harder, harder than everybody else. Make sure you're the person who goes the extra mile. Usifanya tu ile kazi umepewa. Fanya ile kazi ujapewa. And then, because I know there's time shortage, na naona kuna wazazi wetu hapa, Your Excellency, you give me a minute to just give them an update of what we have been doing in Nairobi. <laughs> Eh uh, waje duapatia update kidogo najua mumesikia sana kwamba tumekuwa na siasa mingi kule Nairobi eh uh, tumevamiwa sana na watu wetu wale walikuwa na sisi jubilee i'm sure mlisikia walijaribu kutu, kutuwekea BBI lakini tukapigana na hao mpaka ikaangushwa kwa sababu njama yao walitaka Raila akuwe president uhuru kenyata prime minister Musali a deputy prime minister 
uh, Kalonzo, Deputy Prime Minister, alafu William Ruto Arudi, Sugoi. That was their plan. Lakini, kwa maombi yenyu, na kwa msimamo yenyu na sisi, na wakaweza kuangushwa. Badaye, wakawana hiyo ikuweza kupita, wakaanza kukamata watu yetu. Najua kama watu kama Oscar Sudi walishikwa, ngeno huko katika na rock, akashikwa, kinakashagwa, wakashikwa, ni kwa sababu, pia walikuwa na jaribu kutetemesha team yetu. Lakini pia tunasema, tunashukuru mungu, waliwe tuliweza kushinda hiyo. Badaye, tulifikiri tumepumzika kidogo, tunataka kuja nyumbani, wakaanza hiyo yo political parties bill yo sheria yenye watu walikuwa na tulikuwa na pigana bunge naye eh, kwa sababu walitaka kuangamiza eh, UDA ndio UDA isikuwe chama kwa sababu huko mbeleni tulitaka kutengeneza chama inaitwa Hasla Party lakini wakatukataza kufanya registration tukatumia backdoor tuka, tukapendua PDR ikwe UDA tuka change to simple na ni, na majina tukaweza kufaulu Badaye wakaleta hii sheria kusema lazima tutumie e, register yetu ya, ya, ya party kufanya nominations. Na najua tukitumia register yetu, walijua wale watu wana register ya kutosha ilikuwa UDA. Kwa sababu UDA, UDA is only, ni, tuseme tumekua to four months fully operational, lakini sisi tuwa be a ten months old. So pia walitumia hiyo njama kusema unataka tu, eh, tutumie political parties bill. Tuliweza tena kuanza kikesi, kuenda kotini, nataka kushukuru mungu, jana kotini iliamua kwamba tutatumia IBC register. So mkiona kikuwa tunapiga kambi Nairobi ni makesi na makesi, wanatuwekea, sindio? Yes, alafu pia ye, kesi ya mwisho enye nataka kutuanzia, Eh, dilikuwa last two week, a week ago Dilikuwa nasema na kuja fanya launch yangu ya campaign Lakini kidogo tukaambiwa Tukirizain kutoka jubilee Kama MCAs ama MPs Tutatolewa kwa viti zetu Na mishara zita simamishwa So watu waka, watu waka hofia Kwa sabu walikuwa na wataki tuwache jubilee tuende kwa UDA Ndi wangushe UDA Lakini mimi nilikuwa mtu wa kwanza ku resign from Jubilee. Mimi nikaambia MPs kama ni mbaya ni mbaya. Ambia wanitoe I will go and seek the mandate from my people again. Lakini pia hiyo kesi natoka county assembly tell your colleagues don't worry resign from Jubilee join UDA the process of them declaring your seat vacant we are dealing with it tunaenda continue on Monday. So they will not surrender. So in fact I'm going back to Nairobi on Sunday kwa sababu tuko kutini lakini already last week tuli prepare documents yote. So msiogope hata county assembly ya Nakuru na fikiri speaker ya wali pronounce kwamba wale wame resign from Jubilee kwa wa no longer MCAs. Lakini he has no authority. Tutaenda kutini na tutaishinda pia. Na hata wa tukishindwa high court tutaenda court of appeal. By that time tutakuwa tumemaliza campaign na tutakuwa na new president fifth of Kenya. So asante ni sana. Oh, and again, maybe the MCAs also, you need to know this, eh? Kumbuka, eh, Kibaki, alihama NAC, yu akaenda PMU. First time yake alikuwa NAC, second time alikuwa PMU. Ata William Ruto and Uhuru Kenyatta, in 2013, walikuwa tikiti ya TNA, both of them. Alafu, in 2017, they had resigned from TNA and joined Jubilee. So, iko president ya these things. Iyo kesi tutashinda maramocha. Ana hakuna kesi tumianguka. I can tell you, nataka kusema asante watu wa sungishu. You are patient with me. Lakini, siku wa let down. Kwa sabu hakuna hata kesi moja. Uhuru Kenyata halilete na wakanishinda. Asante ni sana. Mungu wa bariki. Aya, wameniambia sijaomba kiti. <laughs> Aya, wacha ni waileze hivi, naomba kwa unyenyekevu. I will be defending my seat of woman representative ya Singishu County. Natakuwa ni kiuliza your support. Na mina tukua kusema, maybe use this opportunity. Najua watu wengi wameliuza, kwa nini utaki kuenda senate? Ni kwa uli, ni wambia, kila mtu waende mali talenta yake, iko. Kwa sababu National Assembly is the one that deals with the budget. 
National Assembly is the one that deals with the legislation. National Assembly is the one that deals with uh, all government policies. So bottom up it and deke, I will need to petition Sharia Kama Sabini Nakitu, Jo William Ruto aweza ku implement bottom up yake. So ni amana munirudisha National Assembly, yo ni idea our president to implement the bottom up economic model. And also, mujue ila budget William Ruto atapata ofisi kwake, itakuwa hii ya uhuru Kenyatta. So, tukiingia kiti in August. September, tunabadilisha yo budget kukua budget ya bottom up economic model. Asante sana. Mwishmua mwini mendre pa sante sana Lakini wene mjanja Mwujesema umeshinda hile kisi walikufuta kazi bila atia Lakini ukilipua haku tifune kando Mas The chair of the county public service board Together with the board members, the CECs Who are here, chief officers, our leader from the county assembly and also our whip, the clergy, our parents, our interns, Amjambo. Mimi nata kutumia muda mfupi. Kwanza, this program, for, for the first time, we have also invited parents here. Kwa sababu, tuliona ni muhimu pia wazazi waelewe hii program yetu. Wewe tarusu lilete sonda sani ya nataka kuongea. Sasa unaona sugar levels are bringing problems. Aya, pia neni yo sonda haraka haraka. Ndiyo tuanzi. Meantime, lete ni entertainment. 